so this is a video calling out Jacqueline Hill again. Jacqueline Hill tried to ruin my friend. Jen, as many of you know, Jen Gerard has never spoken of her experience with Jacqueline after working with Jacqueline in 2014 to 2015. After watching Jacqueline's most recent Closing My Brands video and seeing how Jacqueline handled other women's business, Jen cannot stay silent any longer. Jacqueline has gone out of her way to not only destroy Jen, but other women who have had the misfortune of crossing paths with Jacqueline. Jen does intend to come out next week with the entire story in detail. But since some people have asked, Jen wants to start by making one thing quite clear. Jacqueline separated herself from Jen and Jen's brand because of money and for no other reason. For context, on May 16th, 2015, Jen had a creator staying with Jen who often stayed at Jen's home when they were first starting out and needed a place to stay while in LA. Jen was in the privacy of her own home when Jen came across a video with them giving thumbs down in the thumbnail. In this video, a girl named Karina Kaboom stated that Jen forced people to sign a contract saying that they would only get positive reviews of Jen's brand, which wasn't true whatsoever. Karina's video felt like a trade versus an honest review and had a lot of foul language, which for Jen at the time was shocking to hear. In privacy, Jen said that Karina was the ugliest person meaning the way Karina came across in the language she used, not her looks. However, Jen understands how that could be perceived differently. The Snapchat of Jen saying that was posted without Jen, Jen's permission. A few days later, Jen, Jen made a statement on the company blogs and Jen's Instagram explaining what Jen meant that it was her demeanor, not physical looks, and took responsibility for what Jen had said. Jen also reached out to Karina privately, but she blocked Jen. During this time, Jen was speaking and texting with Jacqueline regularly, both as a friend and helping Jacqueline get Jacqueline's brand off the ground. Jen texted Jacqueline and apologized. Of Jacqueline's was getting hate because of the situation. Jacqueline specifically told Jen that she was not and agreed that the situation was being blown out of proportion. Jacqueline continued to call and text Jen for for about two months asking Jen how much money Jacqueline was making. Jacqueline asked for Jen's business contacts that would help Jacqueline in normal friendly conversation. On July 31st, 2015, Jen received an email from Jacqueline stating that she didn't want things to get dirty or messy and ending Jacqueline's collaboration and demanding $250,000. To Jen, it felt like extortion to Jen, considering Jacqueline's commission was well above industry standard at 10 to 15%. Jacqueline was getting royalties. Yes, Jacqueline was paid very generously by Jan's brand from in total from Gerard Cos Cosmetics. Jacqueline made well over $500,000. Jacqueline was paid 30% commission plus a royalty for every unit sold from the four shades in the collection. Jacqueline did not, not work on the formulas, the packaging, branding, or anything else with Jacqueline's collab other than choosing the colors. Jacqueline has been paid handsomely for the little bit of work Jacqueline had done. Jen and Jacqueline had a friendship and Jacqueline often articulated that Jacqueline was pleased with the percentage Jacqueline was offered. Jen was very hurt and felt betrayed by someone Jen thought that Jen had a close relationship with. Jen 
had helped Jacqueline to start her to cosmetics labs. Knowing Jen, it would likely cost Jen's brand a significant amount of revenue because Jen cared for Jacqueline and wanted Jacqueline to succeed. When Jen stated that it wasn't part of the agreement and denied the $250,000, Jacqueline proceeded to make a video about Jen and Jen's brand, Joy Cosmetics, which greatly damaged Jen's reputation. After Jacqueline's Snapchat, creators that showcased Jen's products were harassed, slanderous articles were written about Jen's indicating that Karina Kabootman's student was the reason for the split and Jen later heard that Jacqueline was blocking opportunities with creators and retail partners. At the end of the day, Jacqueline had felt At the end of the day, Jacqueline had left in her wake a long list of women who got in Jacqueline's way or stood up to Jacqueline. Jen says that there is so much that will be coming out. As some of you know, the last year has been very emotionally difficult for Jen. Jen's home burned down last August and earlier that year, Jen slipped on the ice and broke Jen's ankle, which required surgery, and Jen was unable to walk for four months. After Jen nearly died in a house fire, Jen is at a point in her life where Jen just doesn't care what people have to say about Jen. Since Jen is still here, Jen is going to do what Jen can do to keep more women from being destroyed by Jacqueline. I don't know how many of you have heard this yet from the Reddit thread that that Jen Gerard had made, but if you haven't heard it yet, you're going to hear it from me. And I will put the description link down at the bottom along um, with the video from Jen Gerard herself and also um, this other amazing creator that has talked about this as well. But until then, make good choices. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.